Universidad de Pisa y pues es una experta muy reconocida en el área de análisis no lineal y ecuaciones en derivadas parciales. Estuvo aquí con nosotros el año pasado, está este año con nosotros otra vez, y lo cual me llena de gusto. Y el título de su plática es Soluciones para un sistema de, eh, de Klein Gordon Maxwell Proca singularmente perturbado en una eh, variedad rimaniana con no linealidad subcrítica, crítica o supercrítica. Gracias, Amaya. Monica for the kind of invitation and uh, I am very happy to be here. It is a pleasure for me to be here. These uh, results are some results about this uh, system, a client order maximum system. And these results are in collaboration with Monica Clapp, uh, Marco Dimenti and Angela Pistori. want to study this system, this system, this system on a manifold M. M is a, a smooth, compact, Riemannian manifold without boundary. And um, the dimension of the manifold M is finite. This system is called the kalin lorbu maxwell proca system. And here, Q is a positive number, omega is a number, alpha sometimes is a constant, sometimes is a, a function, and uh, we look for positive solution of this system. Um, we, if, uh, if we have the dimension of the manifold M, if the dimension of the manifold, the, of the manifold M is uh, for example, J, uh, we consider the critical exponent to star J, and this problem is subcritical if P is smaller than the number to star J, or critical or supercritical if P is greater than the number to star J. The, number, um, the dimension of M are 3 or greater than C. Then the critical exponent is 2, 2j over j minus 2. Um, in this system, we use this Broca formalism because um, if we change the second equation in the system and we consider this equation, uh, we say in this equation the Broca mass is zero. In uh, here we have one, and this one is, uh, and uh, uh, the physicists say the, the Broca mass is equal to one. If we consider this second equation, the system is called the Klein-Gordon-Maxwell system. And this is the Klein-Gordon-Maxwell system. It was started by many people in a bound domain omega in R3 or in R3. Um, but we want to study our system in a, in a manifold without bound, in a closed manifold. If we consider this system, then this equation, we have a trivial solution, B equal to the constant 1 over Q. If we choose these solutions, in the first equation, this disappears. And for you, we have the Schrödinger equation. Then the system um, is, uh, the two equations of uh, the system are independent in a certain sense. Then it is not interesting when we want to study um, the problem in, uh, in a closed manifold. And then we prefer to consider the kind of Maxwell Proca system, so to use the Proca formalism and to put one in. Uh, in this equation. And to have 
via la sua. Hey, uh, we want to, to, to give an estimate on the number of positive solutions with uh, low energy. Uh, more precisely, we will uh, are able to show that if epsilon is small enough and alpha is a constant, the topology and the geometry of the manifold n has an effect on the number of solutions. But we want also to study um, the case in which p is critical or supercritical. In this case, we have to choose some particular manifold. Manifold with a symmetry. And we have some solutions. Uh, we give some, uh, some reference. Uh, initially, uh, Benji Fortunato studied this system. This is the Schrödinger-Maxwell system. Uh, when f is identically equal to zero. After many people studied this system when f is a power, this system is in a bounded domain omega in R3 or in R3. And um, they studied the subcritical problem, then the P is between 2 and 6, and uh, for uh, some general uh, nonlinearity F or uh, the nonlinearity is as a power. And many people that do not have the input. Some people studied this system, the same classical problem for this system. They put epsilon here, they started this system, always in a, in a flat domain, and the rules that will away have some solution for this system. Oh, there are some, when epsilon is equal to 1, there are some, some, some results about existence or non existence of solutions always in a bound domain omega by this point. Recently, Drouet and Dede studied klein gordon maxwell proca system on a closed manifold. They studied the case in which epsilon is equal to 1. They give a result of existence of uh, one solution, but they um, more precisely, they studied the stable or unstable phase property for this system. Uh, they studied this stable and stable phase property due a B and a B way for three dimensional manifolds. A B bond, a due B for four dimensional manifolds. What means phase stable? Uh, for this, for uh, the definition of the day of uh, this uh, stable property uh, uh, means uh, we consider omega j, omega is the phase. Uh, we consider a sequence omega j. Uh, if this sequence converges to a number omega, we consider the corresponding solution ui di. Uh, for uh, omega r. If the stable property uh, holds, we have that u r converges to a function u, d i converges to a function d in the C2 norm, and the uh, u is a solution of the problem relative to the constant. This is uh, the stable uh, property. In uh, a big way, gives also a, a case in which they don't have stable uh, property um, in, a, in a critical case. They studied subcritical case and critical case. Ah, our results. The first our results. We consider 
a manifold of dimension 3, a closed, uh, compact uh, uh, manifold, Riemannian manifold. Alpha is a constant. Uh, we have uh, our system and uh, we can see the effect of the topology of the manifold M on the number of solutions. And we have uh, these results. P is between 4 and 6. We are not able to arrive uh, to, to have a P between 2 and 6. We have a P between 4 and 6. And for absolute monomers, the Klein automax proper system has at least category of M solutions, non-constant solutions, positive, U epsilon V epsilon, and the function U epsilon concentrates around a unique maximum point P epsilon. The Justin Schirem category the definition is this one. Uh, what means do U epsilon concentrates around a unique maximum point of the epsilon? U uh, epsilon has a unique maximum point, P epsilon. Uh, we have this point. Now we will consider the, the function in capital U which is a unique positive rather than symmetric solution of this equation. Here we put alpha minus omega squared. And always I assume that this, this number or this function, when we have a function, is positive. In the assumption of the problem, I have this assumption. Alpha minus omega squared is positive. U is the solution of this problem. And uh, we consider a cutoff function. And now in, uh, in R3, in the space R3, I consider the function u concentrate, u y over epsilon times p. Then I read this function in R3 on the manifold using the, the normal coordinates. Using by exponential map. This coordinates around the point P epsilon, which is the maximum point. And we define this function. This function is one peak function on the manifold M around the point P epsilon. If I wrote, I write my function U epsilon equal to U epsilon P epsilon plus a rest term, we can see that this rest term goes to zero when epsilon goes to zero in the norm and infinity. Um, because we have the assumption P between 4 and, uh, and 6, because we use um, the Nern manifold. And we will start with a function, the critical point of a function on the network. We have a problem to, uh, to prove that the near manifold is a manifold. We have the set of, uh, of uh, near. I have to prove that the set is good, is a manifold and a good manifold. To have this fact, we have this assumption on P. We have another result in the same problem. The dimension of M is 3, alpha is a constant. Now we want to see the effect of the geometry on the manifold, on the number of solutions. And more precisely, the the room of the scalar curvature SG of the manifold M. And we have this result. We consider the, man, the Riemannian manifold MG. Corresponding to the metric G, we have the scalar curvature. We consider the, the, uh, the critical point of the scalar curvature. More general, the, the set of critical points uh, and we want in this, uh, 
we have an assumption on this set of critical points. This set of critical points is C1 stable. If we have a set of C1 stable critical set of the scale of culture SG, for epsilon one enough, this uh, critical set produces a solution. A solution, one peak solution, a positive solution uh, such as that U epsilon is one peak solution. U epsilon concentrate around one point. Uh, the definition of C1 stable critical set is, uh, is what uh, we, we desire that um, K is a C1 stable critical set for, for a certain functional if this set has, has the property that is a set of critical points and if we consider another functional of class C1 close to F in the C1 norm the functional H has a critical point near the set K a stability of the critical points we have these results uh, what means U epsilon concentrate at a point X0 uh, in the set K as epsilon goes to 0 uh, this means that there exists a point Q epsilon of the manifold M such that U epsilon is of this type is equal to W epsilon Q epsilon W is plus a rest term this rest term is such that goes to zero in the norm H1 when epsilon goes to zero and the point Q epsilon the peak point of this function uh, is such that the distance of Q epsilon to the set K of the C1 stable critical points um, goes to zero when epsilon goes to zero and we have these two different uh, results about the same problem then we want to compare these two, these two results and we want uh, we, we have a result which is useful which is useful to compare these two results um, this, the second result, the result of geometry, say, uh, substantially say, if I have the C1 stable critical points of the scalar curvature, we have a solution. Then it is important to have uh, critical points of the scalar curvature, but critical points which are stable, C1 stable. But we know that the scalar curvature G generically has all the critical points non degenerate. Generically it means uh, uh, the set for which uh, this uh, property holds is open and dense in the set of all the metric. In cor in cor uh, with respect to the metric G, the scalar curvature SG has all the critical points non degenerate. If a, a critical, one critical point is non degenerate, is C1 stable. Non degenerate is the most. Cioè, the scalar curvature SG uh, is a most uh, function. So, SG has at least P1 of N non degenerate critical points where P1 of N is uh, Ptm is the Poincaré polynomial corresponding to the manifold N and P1 N is the Poincaré polynomial when T is equal to 1 so the genetically with respect to G we have this number of C1 stable critical points then uh, for any metric G we have 
at least a category of M positive low energy solutions of the system for P between 4 and 6. And generically, with respect to the metric G, we have at least a P1 of M uh, critical points and in their solutions. And P1 of M is a number great or equal to category of M. Often is great. Positive uh, or uh, and here we have a peak between 2 and 6. Then, in this situation, we have more solutions, but, and for any P, but generically. Here we have, for any metric G. Why do you need the, the restriction between 4 and 6 when you see the Why? Uh, because uh, it is difficult to prove that uh, the Neary manifold is a manifold. Ah, okay. okay. And not only, and also a manifold which is uh, a copy of, um, of the sphere. Any race is meet to encounter uh, the manifold only in one, in one point. Okay. It is necessary to have. Uh, the set of Neari is a very good set, and uh, and it is. I don't think it is uh, uh, using this technique. I don't think it is. It is easy to to change this condition. If if someone want to to start to. It is necessary to, to change uh, the technicality. Uh, the manifold uh, needs this condition. The neural manifold needs this condition. Ah. In, in this result, alpha is a constant. If alpha is a constant, the effect uh, of, about on the number of solution is the effect of the manifold, the topology, the geometry of the manifold. If alpha is a, co a function, alpha x, the effect stronger is the effect of the function. The, the effect of the function is most is strong. And then we have this, uh, this condition. If k is a strongly st stable critical set of the function, alpha x, Power, uh, then for epsilon small, uh, the system has a positive solution, u epsilon, u epsilon, such as the u epsilon concentrated in positive form. So it's not. Okay. So the critical points of the function alpha produce the solution. The effect of alpha is strong. Now we want to say something about the critical or supercritical uh, exponent. Uh, in this case, we we have to consider some uh, some uh, particular manifold, some some symmetric manifold, and uh, uh, the idea is. Uh, to reduce the problem to another system, but this other system is on a manifold of, of, of lower dimension, and then more easy to, 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 to solve, to, to find the solutions. An algorithm produces solutions. Um, now, in, in the case, in the subcritical case, we produce uh, solutions which concentrate around a point. Here, by the symmetry, we have solutions which concentrate around a submanifold. Um, this type of approach uh, was introduced by Ruf and Schrickert. And they use a particular type of map to have this uh, reduce, uh, to reduce the problem to uh, another problem with lower uh, 
dimension. And the gap of iron generally have started uh, such a critical elliptics problem on flat domain and using uh, some different reduction. Uh, we use uh, two different types of uh, reduction and uh, we work always uh, in the context of manifold and uh, in, the few, in the following is a manifold are always smooth, compact, closed any manifold. I don't repeat any for any manifold. Only man, any manifold is of the start. The first type of symmetry to have the, the our reduction. We consider what problem? Uh, we consider two manifolds, Mg and Mg. In a manifold, we consider the Cartesian product of these two manifolds, and we put, uh, we consider also a function, a positive function f on the manifold m, and we put on this Cartesian product this metric. The metric given by g, g work m, plus f squared times h. Uh, it, uh, it is clear that if m is a, the dimension of the manifold m and k is a, the dimension of the manifold n, the dimension of this product is greater than m and k because it is n plus k. We consider also the projection pi from the work product to the, to the manifold n, the first coordinate. Huh? Now we have a way to, re to, to reduce our, mm -hmm. our system, the problem of finding solution on our system or uh, on a problem to find a solution of another system. Our system is this one. This is a klein cordon maxwell proper system on the manifold what problem. We have this problem on this level, on this particular Here, we have a function. This function respects the symmetry of the manifold. This function is given by a function f alpha defined on this manifold. And this is a composition of alpha pi. Then we have this particular manifold symmetric and this respect the symmetry of the, of the manifold. Now we, we, we have these results. This problem is equivalent to another problem. This other problem is this one. We have many, many coefficients. And the result, this result is this one. If u epsilon, d epsilon, is a solution of this system on the manifold n, on the manifold n, the function u tilde epsilon, which is the composition of u epsilon and pi, and, and then it is defined on the work product, and the function v tilde epsilon, is the solution of this other uh, system. We observe that the power p is the same here and here. The critical exponent is here is to start dimension of this, uh, of this uh, manifold. No? And to start relative to the dimension of this manifold. Here, uh, 
the, the critical exponent of this problem is two star relative to the dimension of this manifold, which is greater than the dimension of this one. Then we have two star m is greater than two star because uh, two star of the dimension of the manifold m. And this is to start the dimension of the what problem, problem then uh, respect to n plus, n plus k. And this, we have this inequality. Then, if we choose p between this two number, the system on the manifold small d is a sub -p because p is smaller than to start n. Then the problem is subcritical, this problem. But this other problem is supercritical or critical. Moreover, if u epsilon is a solution of the system on the manifold small, and in this uh, and this function concentrates in a point and I, I expect something from this general because I saw that if, uh, if the problem is subcritical are uh, some solutions which concentrate in a point. If U epsilon is a solution of the, uh, of the problem of the manifold M and concentrate in a point of M the corresponding u tilde epsilon is a solution of the system of the warped product and concentrate in a submanifold. Exactly in the submanifold given by x0 times n, which is a copy of the manifold n. Then we have a way to, to reduce our problem to another problem. We have another type of reduce, another way to reduce the problem. We consider another type of C. Also here we have two manifold, capital M or C M. And we have a harmonic morphism between these two manifold. The harmonic morphism is a particular type of Mac, which is the, the good property for us of this uh, map, is this one. There exists a given a pi exists a lambda such as a, the Laplacian corresponding to G, cioè the Laplacian on this drop, on this manifold, and the Laplacian corresponding to this other manifold are uh, in this relation. We have this relation between this two Laplacian. Then we can apply this type of uh, relation and, to, and introduce uh, our system in another system. Uh, we assume another thing. We assume that the dimension of M is greater than the dimension of the of course of M and we assume that lambda square is such that there exists mu defined on this manifold positive such that we have this relationship. If we have this situation for the manifold we have the same results. We are able to uh, produce this Clark uh, Gordon Maxwell proper system on this manifold on this other system. In this other system compared we have a new which is new. And here we have a all of this, this, this uh, coefficient respect the symmetry of the manifold. Then, 
At, the moment, at uh, this point, we have a, a way to, try to traduce our Mass problem system on some symmetric manifold to some other uh, problem. Or, uh, also, in this situation, we have uh, the, uh, the critical exponent corresponding to the manifold smaller of a low, lower dimension is greater than the critical exponent of the capital M manifold and then we choose P, P, P between these two uh, critical exponent and then the problem in the manifold of the lower dimension is subcritical and the other uh, problem is supercritical or critical and also in this uh, situation if U epsilon is the solution of the system on the manifold of the lower, lower uh, dimension and the U epsilon concentrate in a point, U T epsilon concentrate in a submanifold, exactly in this submanifold, which is a submanifold, a submanifold of this dimension. Huh? At this point we have the way to reduce our problem to another problem. Then we have to, think, to say something about this other problem. Um, the, these two symmetries lead to study a problem of this type. Here is a little bit more general. We consider C, A, B, and B. In, the, in, in our system, um, for example, in the case of the morphism, C is 1 and uh, uh, this is alpha over mu, this is 1 over, over mu and this is 1 over mu. No? Um, we want to say something about this system. The function A, B, C uh, are positive, always and uh, we say something about this system in the, uh, on a manifold M and we choose the dimension of the manifold M 2 or 3 why 2 or 3? because the problem on the manifold on the work product or uh, on the other problem is uh, greater because if uh, here the dimension is 2 in the warped product, product the dimension of the warped product is uh, greater than 3 because it is 2 plus something the dimension of the other uh, manifold and uh, in, in, for the physicist it is an, an interesting to have results about the dimension 3. Then, in this way, 3 and 4. And 3 or 4. And if I have the dimension 2 or 3 here, I am able to have uh, the results for the dimension 3 or 4 in the, man, in the symmetric man, manifold. Then we consider and the dimension of this one, two or three. If the dimension is three, P is between two and six, because this critical exponent is a six. But if the dimension is two, the critical exponent, two star two, is a plus infinity. And then I have solutions for any P greater than 2. Then the dimension 2 is interesting. interesting. Ah, we want to study this system and to have solutions for this system. And uh, we have uh, a result. Re the result is this one. If K is a C1 stable critical set of this function gamma, 
which depends by C, A, and B, uh, then the problem is small enough. We have a solution U epsilon V epsilon and U epsilon concentrate at one point uh, um, of the set K. Then we have these, these results for this system. Here you don't need p larger than or equal to 4? Uh, no, no, because this is uh, uh, the method of proof is Gert um, Schmidt. And then here p is uh, between. No, the problem is when we use the math, the linear math. And now I want to put together the reduction and this uh, result and to have a result for a climb of the max system on the symmetric manifold. If the, the symmetric manifold is the warped product, this one warped product, and if we assume K is a C1 stable critical set of this function, because uh, in this system, in the system uh, of reduction, uh, the coefficients are some relation, and then gamma is this one, depending on alpha and on f. And for any p between two and two star m, for example, in half, we have a positive solution concentrates in in a manifold, in a submanifold. We recall that P is between 2 and 2 star M, then if M is 3, P is between 2 and 6. But if M is equal to 2, P is a, any number greater than 2. And the work product is a manifold of dimension, the dimension of M, which is 2 and 3, the dimension of L. If L is great, we have a greater dimension. If we want a small dimension, we can choose the L with small dimension. <coughs> ah, well, another thing. If alpha is a constant, we want to have critical points of gamma. If alpha is a constant, alpha is an input. And then the critical points the critical points of this function. So the critical points of gamma, gamma depends on the critical points of F. So it depends on the geometry. This is a, the case of harmonic morphism. We have the two manifold, we have the harmonic morphism. Uh, the relation lambda is of this type. Then, we assume K is a small stable critical set of this function. Here the function depends on alpha and mu. Uh, P is between 2 and 2 star m. Then for epsilon is small enough, we have a positive solution in the epsilon and the epsilon. And the tilde epsilon concentrate at the sub-manifold pi minus 1 of the point C0, for some point of C0 in there. Here, if alpha is a constant, also here m is equal, or is, is, m is or 2 or 3. If m is 3, p is between 2 and 2 star, if alpha is a function, the critical points of these functions produce solutions. If alpha is a constant, alpha is a pier, and the critical points of the function mu to this power uh, produce solutions. But if the dimension is a 2, this term disappears. Then if alpha is a function, this, this work. 
if alpha is a constant, this uh, uh, doesn't uh, give anything. And the problem is, uh, we use uh, the bit reduction, we have functional uh, depending, depending on epsilon, and I can have solutions, but I have to calculate in the expansion of the functional I epsilon the terms of order greater. And now I would make this <laughs> calculation. I think it works, but I don't make this. Uh, ah, another thing. Uh, I wanted to point out, uh, we, before we, we speak about the stable, uh, the phase stable uh, property of a bit. For these solutions, given I, I fix epsilon, I fix epsilon, and I have solutions of this type by this result or for what probably not uh, easier. The solutions given by these results are stable because they, uh, these solutions are built using the solutions for a subcritical problem. And for this subcritical problem, we have a stable, uh, phase stable property. And then we uh, produce this uh, phase stable uh, property um, on, this, uh, uh, on the problem with uh, Kangor. point we can give very very quickly the idea of the proof of the of the solutions for the system uh, uh, with the coefficients a b c uh, we, we it is uh, the idea is uh, the reaction with uh, reduction uh, first uh, for this system, first of all, we have to do something because before to use the Lyapunov-Schmidt uh, uh, reduction. Uh, the first step is this one. Our system um, has two equations. We look, we look at the second equation. The second equation is this one. Here we have the coefficient, no? we have the coefficient. Um, we can see that fixed u, we have only one solution, C of u of this equation. For any u in H1, we have only one solution of this equation. And if we call this uh, solution C of U. In this way, we define a map C from H1 to H1. This map is very good. Is C1? It's possible to calculate it. Or anzi, it is C2, and it is possible to calculate the derivatives of this map. And this is important because we consider this function on the manifold, uh, on the, excuse me, on the H1. We consider this function. This function is good because C of U is good. And then we can calculate the first derivative of this um, of this function with respect to U, the fraction And we can end this derivative as a very good aspect because if I calculate this one, the first derivative is this one. At this point, it is easy to see the variational aspect of my uh, system. Because at this point, this, um, if I consider C of U, 
the second equation disappear. And I put in the first equation C of U. Then the problem is in equation. And this equation is the, the gradient of a functional. The functional is this one. The functional is this one. This is G, capital G epsilon. This is a power plus the positive part because you want the positive solution. And this one is a, a, a norm. Which norm? An equivalent norm to the H1. But it is useful to, to write this norm in this way. To put here alpha minus omega squared. If you recall, this number is positive by assumptions. Then this, this is the norm. And at this, at this point, the problem is to find the critical points of the functional and epsilon. Now we will use the classical marking situation. We introduce W. Um, here W is a little bit more complicated because we have the, the coefficient. Then we have the fix a point C in M to consider the unique solution of this problem. And then to define W epsilon P in this way, here we have DX. Before we have U, and it is more top. It is. And now we want to find the solutions. Uh, u epsilon such as that u epsilon is equal w epsilon xi, xi plus rest Now we use the Yapu Schmidt method and we calculate this function, this trend. Before we prove that there exists uh, phi epsilon xi, xi such that the critical points of this functional with respect to Xi are the solution of our power problem. So the reduction to a finite dimension of the problem. Now the problem is the problem in Xi. I have to find the critical points Xi of this function. But I have to calculate this function. And I have to calculate the expansion with respect to epsilon of this function. But it is possible to do this. And uh, we say that uh, this function is equal to the function i epsilon w plus s term. And uh, we calculate this i epsilon w epsilon c. And w epsilon c is this quantity plus a rest term. Now we use the definition of C1 stable critical points and if C is a C1 stable critical point of this function, it is a critical point of R tilde epsilon C and then produce a solution. Because the solution is this one. There is a U epsilon a D is C in the epsilon, and then we have the solution. I stop here. Preguntas? So, I suppose for this last result, you would also glue together solutions and concentrate on those. Different critical points of these C. auxiliary functions, I guess. C, no? C, C, C. But uh, this requires some other calculation. I think uh, we have uh, different, uh, multi peak uh, solutions with different uh, points, uh, but uh, we have to, to, to do some other calculation because um, the, here the difficulty is. We have to, to use the Yafu-Smith reduction and the difficulties of the Yafu-Smith reduction. 
but we have this is a perturbative term given by C of U. And then we have to estimate this. And this uh, is non-local uh, function so and this uh, so. But I think everything matches. Consider the, the projection from the graph product to come to the manifold M. Is that a, a kind of vibration or a kind of the vibration uh, with the, with the yeah. property? Because in the in the article of uh. of Palia, Club, Achella, they use the the hot vibration in uh -huh. order to get the, the equivalent between the, the two systems. And, and you have uh, you have used a, a kind of projection, and I think uh, that projection maybe it's, it's a vibration. Um, it is a vibration because topologically you are just projecting. I mean, it's the product. You have a product of two manifolds, and you are projecting it onto one of the of the of the factors. So it is a, a trivial vibration. Um, but what changes is the geometry. So what you are doing is changing the geometry of the fiber. So this is and the, in the case of the harmonic morphism, is that with the harmonic morphism with the additional properties, is that a vibration? It is a vibration, mm -hmm. but uh, it is not a trivial one. So the whole vibration is not a trivial vibration. The work product is a trivial vibration, but uh, the, the geometry changes. A good picture to have for the, for the work product is you take any manifold M, okay? And you put it in a half space. So you, you take a sub-manifold of RT times uh, zero infinity. You put it in a half space. And then you rotate it around. So when you take this manifold and you rotate it, what you get is topologically, you get the product of this manifold with a sphere. But depending on where the point is, the, the sphere will change uh, its metric. No, it can be a large sphere or a small sphere, so the curvature changes. But topologically, it is always a vibration. Some other questions? <laughs> well, if not, let us thank Ana Maria.